بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس کمرشیل بینکس ورسیز مائکرو فائنانس انسٹیٹیوشنز وی ول سی دا ڈفرینسز بٹوین بوتھ آف دیم اینڈ آلسو وی ول ڈسکس دا مین ڈیفینیشنز سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود واٹ از کمرشیل بینک دا ٹرم کمرشیل بینک ریفرس ٹو اے فائنینشیل انسٹیٹیوشن دیٹ ایکسیپٹس ڈپازٹس offers checking account services, makes various loans, offers basic financial products like certificates of deposit, savings accounts to individuals and small businesses. A commercial bank is where most people do their banking. Like we are going to the bank every day and we are making transactions. So that is called the commercial bank. These are the commercial banks we can say. Commercial banks make money by providing and earning interest from loans such as mortgage, auto loans, business loans and personal loans. What is a microfinance institution? Microfinance institution is a banking service provided to unemployed or low income individuals or groups who otherwise would have no other access to financial services. Microfinance allows people to take on reasonable small business loans safely and in a manner that is consistent with ethical lending practices. The majority of microfinancing operations occur in developing nations such as Uganda, Indonesia, Serbia and Honduras. Like conventional lenders, microfinanciers charge interest on loans and institute specific repayment plans. The World Bank estimates that more than 500 million people have benefited from microfinance related operations. So microfinance, the banking services used by the unemployed or low income individuals for those who are going to grow their business from a very low scale, from a small scale. Let's head over to the differences. We will see now the differences. Products offering. What are the products offered by bank, commercial banks and the microfinancing institutions? Bank offers different services such as accepting deposits, providing loans, insurance, locker facility, cash withdrawal from ATMs, provision of credit or debit cards. On the other hand, MFI is mainly target poor households in rural areas to access financial services such as very small loans, microcredit, to help them to invest in or scale up their small businesses. Collateral for loans. Bank require the borrower to pledge loan collateral. If a loan is sanctioned, then the amount is disbursed in one or more installment by the banks. On the other hand, there is no such requirement for microfinancing institution loans. Loans are generally dispersed to individual or groups which are geographically diverse without extensive examination or collateral. Deposits and withdrawal facility. In case of deposit or savings, Commercial banks offer specific product at fixed rates of interest for the depositor. These deposits can be withdrawn anytime. From the commercial bank, you can deposit or withdraw anytime. There is always a facility available. But for MFIs, the, a certain amount has to be saved by the group members compulsorily so that they can avail loans. The size of these deposits is also less in comparison with banks and you cannot withdraw and you cannot deposit as normally you are doing in commercial banking. The next is scale of business and target customers. Commercial banks scale of operation is not limited to households only. The lending operations of commercial banks are divided into agriculture, micro, small and medium enterprises export credit, education, housing, social infrastructure and renewable energy. Wherever the commercial bank sees that they can earn something, 
they are targeting those areas of the business but on the other hand microfinancing institutions disperse loans of small amounts to poor households to invest in their small business or for personal use they seek to empower those sections of society that are not covered by commercial banks so microfinancial institutions are not a secure organization in terms of giving loan because they don't know either they will get the loan back or not mechanism for credit how they are giving the credit commercial banks have strong mechanism for credit appraisal of borrowers they have strong risk management because of the diversified portfolio of investments and clients which reduces the chance of risk or loss but in on the other hand the mechanism for handling misbehaviors and default is weak in the case of microfinance institutions as there is a lack of monitoring this can lead to fraud by staff as there are geographical diverse client there is more risk involved in the mechanism of, of microfinance institutions in terms of commercial banks let's see the difference is now the difference according to product the commercial banks are offering deposit lending insurance locker facility cash withdrawal from atms and credit debit cards but in microfinance institution deposits micro credit insurance only the target group of commercial banks are urban rural both above below poverty line whoever they are they are targeting the groups but mainly in microfinance institutions rural or below poverty line peoples are targeted the business no limited to household and diversified to various sectors but in microfinance it is only limited to households what are the loan processes proper security and monitoring in commercial banks but in microfinance institutions lack of proper security and monitoring lending to high default there is high risk involved in microfinance institutions to lose their money collateral requirements in terms of commercial bank collateral required and fortified in case of default but in microfinance institutions no collateral required and peer pressure workers as collateral mechanism of loan dispersal loan dispersed in one or more installments in commercial banks but loan disbursed to individual or group depending upon savings collected because microfinancing institution they are collecting the savings from peer of groups so whatever they have they will disburse to the individuals or the group of people recovery of loan in commercial banks less cases of default and collateral forfeited in case of default there is a large number of cases of default delinquencies due to poor credit appraisal technique in microfinance institutions so guys i hope you understand what are the main differences in commercial bank and microfinance institution so you can choose the right way where you have to go for your investment so this is what we have for today we hope you like our today's video please subscribe our channel so we will be keep motivated to make more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye